The Daily Beast has a really wild story for us that broke on Monday. Listen to what the government is doing with your tax money. They say, The Pentagon gave a controversial UK PR firm over half a billion dollars to run a top-secret propaganda program in Iraq, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism revealed. The firm Bell Pottinger's output included short TV segments made in the style of Arabic news networks and fake insurgent videos which could be used to track the people who watched them, according to a former employee. They spent over $500 million. I think the exact number is $540 million making fake Al-Qaeda videos. I don't know why this isn't the biggest story on the planet right now. I don't know why the news networks aren't running with it 24-7. I mean, you want to talk about a big story. This is pretty fucking big, don't you think? Alex Jones just came in his pants when he read this. <laughs> Seriously. Ooh, a gross thought. Why do you say shit like that, Kyle? God damn it, man. That's so disgusting. Um, we made fake Al-Qaeda videos, bro. Now, like, their reasoning... I mean, they have a reason, but it I don't know. It seems questionable to me. I mean, think about it. They're saying, well, we did it so we could try to track the people who watched them. Yeah, but there's... What percentage of people that watch an Al-Qaeda video did it because they're jihadists? Like, I, I remember when I was younger, I, I, I feel like now I shouldn't have done it, but I saw the video of when they cut off the U.S. soldier's head. I forget his name at this point. But... I saw that video, super low quality, but they cut off his head. And you see that they cut off his head. I mean, according to their logic of, let's make these videos and then track people who watch it, would I, I would be considered a potential extremist, a potential radical, or my friend, because technically we watched it on his computer. And also, if you want to track them, why, is it really that impossible to track extremist videos that already exist? I mean, that if you could spend $540 million to create the videos and then try to track them, you could probably spend $3 million or fucking much less than that, who knows, to find ones that already exist and have a hacker experienced enough to track who watched those. Look, a lot of this just doesn't add up, man. Like, I, I don't get it. And I'm not saying this because I, I'm trying to do a grand Alex Jones conspiracy where at the end I go, Aha! I got Illuminati Bilderberg and they're trying to black helicopters. They're trying to put us in FEMA camps and they want to ban golf courses and ban cars. And that's what's going to happen. They want to limit the population size to roughly about 13 people. And I got documents. I got the documents, people. Alex Jones. Yeah! That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is their story does not make much sense. And at the end of the article, they uh, they mentioned like, oh, and by the way, we don't know and probably will never know if they actually caught anybody as a result of this program. <laughs> Wait, what? So the whole point of the program, you were able to unearth it, this was the point of the program, and then you're like, yeah, how many people did they get? As far as we know, donut bitch! So you spent $540 million and you're like, we have dick to show for it. I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I mean, it's almost like they would make they would try to make the videos to hype up the threat of Al Qaeda further, and then justify continue keeping us there. But even that, I feel like you wouldn't need to make it yourself. You could just take existing extremist videos and fucking show those and be like, "Oh, ooga booga, we gotta stay in there forever in Iraq and freedom and liberty, something." Shut the fuck up while we take the oil. Ooh, what, what? Did I say that out loud? I don't know what's going on here, man. But the bottom line is, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. You can spend $540 million making a fake Al-Qaeda video as right now we don't have clean water in Flint, Michigan. We can't get clean water to human beings in what's supposed to be the richest country on the planet. Our infrastructure gets a grade of D. And these assholes are running around like, all right, let's do some Hollywood bullshit. Waste $540 million to try to hype up the threat 
of Al Qaeda. It's it's like the movie Wag the Dog. Did you ever see that movie? If you haven't seen it, go watch it right now. It's a great movie. But it's like that movie came true. That's what I feel like as I read this story. So I I, I honestly don't know. I'm not just saying that. I don't know what the exact point of them doing this was. I don't. But whatever their answer is, I'm relatively certain it's a fucking gigantic waste of money when we have all these real problems to take care of. But for you, you get nothing, and you're going to shut up about it. For the military, and for useless adventures like this, blank check. $540 million is nothing. Here, make it rain on you if you make an Al-Qaeda video. So stupid. So crazy. And I'd love to hear a cogent, rational explanation from the government as to how slash why they really did this. Uh, I'm afraid of what the answer is, but there's got to be a answer.